Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your mid-August 2018 reading. It's a general reading, so whatever comes up is what comes out. Now, um, of course, it's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, um, that's okay. I look at another reading. It's funny because if this is a really good reading, then all oh, it resonates. If it's bad, that don't resonate with me. It's you know, that's just human nature. But anyhow. Right, and we're back, Leo. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, intuitively, I'm feeling like this. Okay, that's strong. Some of you are really, you have really bad eating habits. I think you know this, and you're just at a place of not caring. But you have to be worried about your health. Um, you have to change that. Um, unfortunately, we don't get younger, we get older. And we just want to, you know, be aware of that. Um, you're tired of people thinking you're crazy. That's for somebody, I don't know. Um, there's some, okay, so there's issues within a relationship someone wants to leave someone wants someone to stay but there's so m many issues here I think some of them Leo has caused uh, some of them Leo has not some of you are dealing with a very selfish individual in regards to um, understanding that they're in a relationship that takes work um, and it takes sometimes some selfless acts to keep the relationship going. You're dealing with somebody who's just really concerned about themselves. This could be an Aquarius. This could be some of you is a Gemini. Um, I don't know. Some of you are dealing with some really immature energy. And it's like you just keep rising to another level and this person just stays where they are. They're 100% codependent on you. Um, Family members are codependent on you. It, you, have, you carry a lot. You wear a lot of hats. Um, your children are getting older. They see that, you know, uh, you do a lot. And you're trying to incorporate them in what you do, which is a good thing. Okay, let's move on. Okay, five card advice spread. This is Leo, right where they are in the Wheel of Fortune. Nice, just letting things happen, letting nature take its course. Uh, this wheel is always turning for all of us. It's the karmic wheel. What you put out is coming back. It's it's all always turning. You know, like the saying, uh, karma has GPS. You know, it will find you. All right, all right. And this, are you on your right path? The Ten of Air says something's ending. Which I feel for some of you is a good thing. You're letting something in. And you're letting it in naturally. Um, could be with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow. So in this card, she's releasing it. As you can see, she's breathing out the feathers. Releasing. But I heard that you're releasing and someone else feels like you're, you're betraying. But you're releasing this because it just doesn't suit you. Okay. Um, your main obstacle, Ace of Fire. You're taking the opportunity, having the motivation to move forward, reigniting the passion, the desire within yourself to move away from, to move toward. Someone else could have been, you know, being very passionate and moving toward whatever it is they wanted to move toward. And um, it may be causing Leo some betrayal here. Or Leo, someone feels like you're doing this and vice versa. Uh, what's helping you? The Ace of Water. I think this is either you found new love. Or you know that love exists somewhere else with someone else or with doing something else or this is just self-love you understand that firstly you got to put yourself first 
before you can love anyone else um what's how the situation uh what can help the situation the queen of air it'd be like the queen of air cut something or someone out demand the truth and also give the truth the queen of air yields the the, the sword of truth The bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords, the Six of Air. Someone is just really wanting to, it could be an actual physical move, it's a mental move, but it's like, I need to find peace and clarity. Firstly, in my mind, in my soul, uh, and then I can make real decisions. And you're just kind of just letting things happen how they will. Um, the bottom of the deck for... Uh, the butterfly oracle cards is adult children um, so some of you could have adult children or you could be the adult child um, you, you might need to um, parent your own parents you know in a sense um, you could have adult children they're playing a part in this for, for either you or somebody else and it could be young adult children you know teenagers so we got finances, leaving, hobbies, relationship dynamics. Now the dynamics of this relationship have altered, have changed because love, passion, desire has been reignited elsewhere for my Leo or for some, or it might be vice versa. Whomever you're dealing with, there, you know, is something else outside of what you two have. Someone is now realizing exactly how they feel about a connection, too. This is an awakening, the ace of fire, of how you feel about an existing relationship. It's almost like spiritual awakening here with the ace of air. I mean, the ace of water and the ace of fire. It's like fire and desire, almost. It's like spiritually guided to the fact that you need to take action in regards to um, what your life looks like or what you want it to look like. Some of you leaving jobs too. Hobbies. I believe some of you made a hobby in actual business. You know, it's going well for you. It may be something to do with spirit, uh, energy work, healer, tarot card reader, psychic. But you're leaving something behind. Especially with the six of air. Leaving a job. Leaving a relationship. Leaving old mindsets. Um, putting in, I just keep hearing putting yourself first. Finances are highlighted. Now it could be for the good. It could be for the bad. You do have the, the will of fortune. So it could be very well for the good. Um, the finances are highlighted here. Some of you need to leave old mindsets around how you make money and what money is to you. Leave it behind so that spirit can bring in newness by way of either um, making a hobby, a business, or bring in newness by way of a new job. Um, also getting you ready for an abundant mindset. You can't have abundance if you're always thinking about lack or you're living in lack, in the mentality of lack. So some of you need to leave old mindsets around money behind know that money is energy you need to always be moving it and it didn't have to be oh i'm you need to go out and spend all of your money and or it's not go and hoard all your money either you know it's about like the parable in um the bible uh you know god or jesus or whomever the guy well the banker gave the the what was it four men you guys know the parable anyway it was about what they did with the money understanding that money is energy make it work for you uh, make it work for those that you love around you um, so you so yeah some issues there okay so if none of this resonated with you maybe this will here we've got another spread we have the five of spade the ten of club the six of diamond, the five of diamond, wow, this, and then the seven of diamond at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. Mm. So there's a lot of change. We have two fives here. Um, this talks about reversal and cancellation. Also talks about outside interference. Um, and it could very well be with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If not, it's just interference. Um, this is the heavy arguing due to interference. This is not just um, arguing uh, because you know someone spends a lot of money or somebody keeps leaving the seat up or or they don't clean up behind themselves. This is interference, and it could be family, friends, uh, another love individual relationship dynamics. Do talk about someone entering, exiting a relationship. The dynamics have changed. Um, money is good. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Clubs. In the playing cards deck, it's just unexpected good luck, uh, good fortune, unexpected money. The Six of Diamond talks about problems in a second marriage, a second relationship. doesn't have to be second, but there are problems here. What I heard from Spirit is that there are problems in your current relationship. Um, maybe due to inequality, maybe surrounding money or the energy that one puts in, the love, the time. Uh, it's just not balanced. You want success in home and marriage, uh, but it, it comes with change. Now, this is change of partner. You do have leaving relationship dynamics or just a change of, of your mindset. You figure it out. Uh, but there is good fortune. Uh, good news coming, baby news. Um, things that you have put the time and energy into coming to you. Investments paying off. Some of you are looking to the past too. You want a successful marriage relationship with someone possibly from the past. Some of you are looking at the time and energy that you invested in this relationship. And that's the only thing that keeps you there. Sentimental feelings. If this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um, do comment because it will enter you to win a free reading with me. I will go live August 15th and announce the winners of the raffle for the free reading. Um, so subscribe so you can know that I'm going live. I mean, if you feel moved to do that, go over to my website, book a reading. Do know that there's a four to five business day wait for any reading, any video recorded reading, any recurring readings that you book. Um, if it's a live or Skype reading, then there's a calendar there and you can utilize that to set up an appointment. If it needs to be rescheduled, you will be contacted in, in enough time to go ahead and reschedule. Um, there are same day readings but you need to email me for same day readings because there is an additional price to that uh, know that I'm praying for you Leo pray for me as well it looks really good it's like you're releasing release and then goodness comes to you alright um, thank you once again for tuning in um Stay in prayer, okay? I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.